About a year ago, I posted this stylized explosion VFX to Reddit, but only used it in a game for the first time a few weeks ago for my 70 FPS entry up well. Today I'll show you how to make it. To start, we'll make a new visual effect in our scene, in view of the camera so we can see what we're making. Since this effect involves a burst of particles instead of a constant stream, we can remove the constant spawn ray block and replace it with a single burst. Set to, let's say, 48 particles. Since that's over the capacity, let's go ahead and increase this to 100. And since we want circular particles, not whatever this is, let's go ahead and change our texture down here. Just search for circle, and there's an asset just called circle. Let's swap the blend mode to opaque, and enable alpha clipping so it cuts out the circle. Now we need to correct our particle spawn. For the set velocity random block, let's set this to between negative one and one, so that every particle is going in a completely random direction out from the center. Nice. And while we're here, let's reduce the lifetime to something between 0.4 and one. Instead of our particles just appearing and disappearing, let's add a size over life curve so they all spawn from a single point, grow to size, and then scale back into nothingness. Down in our output particle quad block, let's remove this set size over life and just replace it, set size over life, and hopefully you'll have this nice little curve right here. And modify it so the value at the top of this curve, you can right click and hit edit key, and set the value to one. This gives us a nice round size of one at the top of the curve so that we can multiply the size and know what to expect. With that in place, let's add a multiply size random block and set that to, let's say, 0.75 to 1.5. So all our particles will still follow this curve, but they'll each be multiplied by a random value. Let's also add a turbulence block in the update section to simulate some wind pushing our explosion particles around. I like to use Perlin noise as the noise type and increase the intensity and frequency to let's say three and two. And you'll see they're sort of drifting off now. So now we're just missing color on our explosion. Let's go back down to our output particle quad and play with this set color over life block. Color mode just needs to be color because we're not messing with alpha at all. And let's go ahead and open our gradient up in the gradient editor. By looking at our size over life block here, we know that the particles reach its maximum size about 25% of the way through its lifetime. You can color these particles however you want, but I like to start with solid red at the beginning, then at 25%, the peak of the explosion, go towards a yellow, and we'll increase the intensity to something like three so that we're using HDR and getting this effect. And finally, at the last point in the gradient, we'll fade back to black. Removing these alpha bits up top here, we can see what that'll look like. So we start red, we go towards yellow, blinding white, and back down to black. Here's what that looks like. All right, maybe it's a little bright with the bloom that I have, so let's turn this down to two. And as you can see here, just messing in these ranges changes how saturated the colors are pretty significantly. So feel free to play with this and just try and get whatever color style you want to fit your game. And since our particles all have slightly different lifetimes because of the lifetime random, they're all sort of different colors at different points and it makes this nice multicolored explosion effect. Feel free to tinker with any of these blocks and make this effect your own. Uh, and show me what you come up with if you have something cool. That's all for now. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will definitely get to them. Thanks for watching.